events. Still a young man as well. Got a very bright future indeed. And so has 20 year old Mickey Kraus from Denmark. He has made it his goal to be a full time professional. He quit his job two years ago, just before the pandemic. And he wants to mix it with the big boys. And now he gets his chance. He's playing on Please centre court. I'm joined in comms for this match with my buddy Nick. Yeah, extremely excited about this one, Carl. Yap disposed of filler 11-4, looked just awesome doing so. And, and Kraus, as you said, an up-and-comer. This is a really good one. Yeah, Joshua Filler, he is in action. He's playing on table five. He's playing Alan Roland Rosado. He beat Earl Strickland last night. Joshua was leading two reps to zero, so he's going well. Okay. Okay. Judd Trump is playing on table two. That's his first, first match rack. out of Mickey the centre Krause court. You can watch that match on the Matchroom Pool YouTube channel. He's playing Jason Thrun from South Africa. He's actually won the first rack as good, so we'll keep you posted as always. The cue ball's close, and it's gone. So, not the best of starts for Mickey. Initial thoughts on this 6-9, Carl? How to sort of deal with this? Start the clock. A lot of congestion, as we can see, down by the rack area. Yeah, Mickey will have also spotted that green six. Often when you're sat in your chair and your opponent's breaking, or in this instance got ball in hand, the first thing you do is look at the split of the balls. <laughs> right. Skyler Woodward, USA's Moscone Cup MVP. A couple of times, he's just starting out against Barham Lotfi. Barham Lotfi is also from Denmark. He's good friends with Mickey Krause. The arena has definitely got a different feel about it today. Yeah, that it does. It's serious business in here now. Can you play the six in the same pocket as the five, Carl? Just sort of falling below the eight? Or is it is it too steep? Yeah, I think where the five is, he's He's definitely got that option. He needs a cue ball to stop that, looks good. I mean, it would be risky going into it. There's no real value if he can just land short, as she said. The good thing is if he does land a little bit too short, I think the brown seven, he could maybe play it in the side pocket. That's obviously thinking two or three shots ahead. So we'll see what he decides to do. Extension, please. Thank you. Two hundred and fifty-six pool players from all over the world started out. And the Philippines always bring a strong contingent. The Luna, he beats former US Open champion. Eleven racks to three. Continues that great form that he showed against Alex Pagalayan last night. So just two more wins required for the Luna. Delicate one here. Yeah, he's a cue ball just gonna flick the nine. Yeah, it did. Could Nicely do done. Bounce, that's not too bad indeed, is it? Yeah, Phil had mentioned uh, in the first match that Pagulain didn't pocket a ball last night. He lost 11-0 and didn't pocket one ball. <laughs> <laughs> he played okay then, you know, no mistakes. Great start here from Yap. I mean, this kid is so steady and just goes about his business with a maturity of sorts for such a young player.
Yeah, very smooth on the cue. You don't often see him hit anything too hard, and that's always going to bode well when you're playing the game of pool. Very smooth, you'll just see here. And there you go, wins the first rack. Nice little out, because the sixth ball was trickier. So that will give him a nice little boost. John Mora, Canada. He's 10 racks to four up. John Mora used to play right-handed about two or three years ago. He swapped to play left-handed full-time. I think that's one of the, the most amazing things I've ever heard about. Well, it truly is. How was your opposite hand game? M mine's actually okay, to be honest. I can I can pot the ball and I can do things that I, I, I could like get away with doing. Um, I could probably run a full rack, but it wouldn't feel great, but I'm just, I think I could just get away with it. It's definitely not as good as John Morris. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really incredible to switch and continue playing top-notch pool. Yeah, to, to keep competing at this level. It's, it's just unbelievable, it really is. Thomas Kaplan, he has knocked out his fellow countryman, Viktor Zelinsky, Viktor Zelinsky. Second rack. He's one for the Lucious future. Jeff to break. Match was 11 9. He leads 1 0. As we get rack number two underway. He's going to have an issue with the blue two, pocketing this one ball. It's pretty easy for Yap. As he just walks around, he's looking to maybe try and set up for a combination. The two ball onto the purple five. If that's what he is playing, well, he'd love to be close and really straight on that ball. So it's all about this shot. All about where he gets the cue ball. Really nice stroke there. Controlling the two after this combination seems paramount, Carl. It might drift towards the eight. Yeah, and this is the type of shot where when you're watching on, on TV, it looks like a bit of a hang, but the horrible shots these, they can really look, make you look a little bit foolish at times. Extension, please. Thank you. Yeah, indeed. I suppose even playing safe is an option, although he seems just solely focused on the combo. Would you hit with this one with some speed, maybe, Carl, to have the two going to the rail and out? Yeah, I think you're right. You can see there with lovely camera angle that it's definitely moving towards that eight. Oh, it's a wonderful oh, what a great shot. shot. Man. Yeah, and he's been rewarded. He does have a shot. It's a thin one, but it definitely passes the three ball. And I'm sure he can manufacture this cue ball anywhere in the centre of the table. We'll give him a shot on the red three. So this is it's a nice start. Well, this is a little tester. Oh, he's really nice to watch. He's got that air of like a Wu Cha Ching about him, I feel. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely world class stuff thus far from Yap. Yeah, I feel, Nick, that it's not going to be long before he really snaps one of these big events off. Sure feels like it. But you know, as good as anybody, you need a little bit of luck to win a pool tournament. Sometimes you can play lights out and. You know, you can get beat. Dennis Orcolo, he's lost in two finals of the US Open. Such a great pool player. You're right about that, Carl. You do need the brakes on your side as well. This could be a little bit awkward for a lefty, although he should be okay. Yeah, Dennis Orcolo is still going well. He will be in the winner's qualification. He's playing Oliver Sholnocki. Sholnocki. Sent Chan Jun Ling to the losers bracket last night. Chang Jun Ling is playing Omar Al Shaheen. Omar lost early in the uh, the winners section, so he's 
He's still going, he's putting up a good fight. Snooker superstar, Judd Trump. Well, this is a good start. 2-1 up, this nine ball for 3-1. That's a nice looking cue he's using, Nick. Yeah, you know a thing or two about that cue, right, Carl? Yep. So that's good for snooker fans. I'm sure there'll be a few people watching Judd on the Matchroom Pool YouTube channel. There you see the wonderful arena. Our referee for this match, Ken Schumann, he's been around the block. Mickey Kraus. Well, he's had one break off and it was an unfortunate in off. A random ball kicked it in the top pocket. And now he's just got to sit and watch like us. Jason Shaw is warming up. He's pleased about to play Dennis Grade in around 30, 40 minutes. He's actually playing on table two. So I'll take that back as soon as Judd's finished. And Jason, Theron, Jason Shaw will be on there. Rack three. A good match. Dennis Boy, Grade. Yeah, breaking. He goes Two, deep in a lot of these tournaments. He wants that big win as well. Corner ball cooperates. It doesn't look does like he's. It doesn't look like um, he's controlling the cue ball too good, does it? Yeah, it's it's the balls are flying in, as you said. The six nine have, have come together here on the bottom left, so I'll have to navigate five, that. Five. Thank you. Naturally, the one two three five are all fairly simple. If he was playing an exhibition match, he'd probably try and pop this and just smash into the six, just for a bit of showmanship. But it's not an exhibition. It's the US Open. Indeed it is, Carl. Can he get the cue ball on the rail and play the cue ball off two rails and try and hit the right-hand side? of the nine and the six. If he could do that, the cue ball might travel up table for the purple five in the center. Looks like he was just looking at the shot you just mentioned. Yeah, with him being left-handed, this is no problem. So let's just have a look if he's gonna try and play this cue ball off the two rails. And any kind of hit on the right hand side of that nine or the six, I think you'd have a good chance. Just don't want to get too cute here if you play that shot as to not get snookered behind the balls after breaking them up. Oh, and he put a lovely stroke on that one. Great call, Carl. Beauty there. Yeah, I just called it. He played it wonderful. A really nice shot there from Yap. Looking good. Look at this cue ball speed, perfection, just comes up and stops. Perfect. Phenomenal, I mean. Ball. What a start for Yap. A start indeed. Lucius Yap, who wins the first three racks. He leads Mickey Krause three racks to zero.
Welcome back to the 2021 US Open Pool Championships. The man on your left, Alusha Sharp. Well, he's off to the best possible start. He leads the man on your right, Mickey Kraus, three racks to zero. Winner breaks. This is rack number four. So all Mickey can Royce do is sit breaking, wait Leading in the chance. match, three zero. As you said before, an unfortunate start for Mickey. He got kicked in off of that first break. He hasn't returned to the table since. Corner ball in. Ball gets kicked by the eight. It'll nestle on the rail with the pink four blocking some of it. Yeah, Jeffrey De Luna, phenomenal performance last night against Pagalaya. He's also just beat Ralph Suke, and we caught up with him. Jeff, many congratulations. You're on fire. Yeah, I'm trying my best to to win the every match, and uh, I, I'm I'm just really enjoy the game. So. That's why. You were the first in here this morning asking, can I practice? I'm ready, I'm ready. You've just got so much drive right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, breaking hard and I uh, feel so good. So I'm just, I'm just uh, concentrating on every single shot, so. You entertained the whole crowd last night on table one. Were you glad to be on one of the side tables, just get the job done today? Yeah, same thing. What I'm doing yesterday, I'm trying to do some, uh, no give him chance to rob Sukhoi, but he got, you know, some, some, I got some bad safety, so that's why he got some, he got some shot, yeah. Such a special tournament this, but do you feel confident you can go all the way? Yeah, I'm go all the way. Yeah. Your hair looks, your hair looks great today, by the way. All right, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Are you, you're ready for the main stages now? You feel pumped? I'm very, I'm always ready here yeah. for the main the final yeah. until you're, the you're, end. You're playing some great stuff. It's been a joy having you this week. Congratulations. Oh, all right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeffrey. He will face Carlo Biardo in losers round seven. Doesn't get any easier. Oh, that's a great match there. What a tough uh, loser side draw for both men. Although day four of the US Open is to be expected. You see Yap tanking, uh, taking on this bank cross side or a safety of sorts, Carl? He's answered your question, Nick. He's played safe. And I think he can see an edge of this ball. Yeah, he's weighing it over now. Could try to thin the right side of it and come back around, although it's delicate. Could perhaps bank it up table and use the 8-9 as blockers as we see the split screen there. Judd Trump getting to work on table two. Judd Trump 4-2 up in that match. Just come off the right side and it looks like he's gotten him snookered behind the pink in some capacity. So it's close. Doesn't look exceedingly pleased there. Perhaps he hasn't. He has not. And uh, it looks like Yap is well on his way to extending this 3-0 lead. We've not seen many comebacks yet this week. And with a winner break format, that can often happen. It's been pretty much either a tight match or someone's got a big lead and then kind of blown their opponent away. Just a quick reminder coming up after this match, on this table, we got losers action, losers round action. It's Albin Ocean, the current world champ. He's playing the current world pool masters champ, Alex Kazakis. That's going to be a nice match. Yeah, phenomenal match there. So Yap was a little bit displeased. An awkward position for a left-handed player. 
So he screwed that extension on and he's stretching over the table and trying to zip this one back for the pink. Extension, please. Extension declared. Thank you. Yeah, you've called that one nice. It's, it's obviously the pot is very easy, but it's a little dicey with position. I wonder if he can get the cue ball past the eight off the rail. Oh, no, that he can. To that lovely, didn't he, Nick? Yeah, he has such a great stroke. I mean, he, he's just looked so rock solid so far and composed as well. Takes his time, doesn't rush his business. Not slow, but appreciative of the task at hand. He's looked just phenomenal so far. Skidded a little on him, Carl. At least it sounded like he did, but got away with it. Maybe. So this is a little thin one. Even that shot, just so effortless and just, it's the timing of his cue action. He's got wonderful timing and that's why he's making everything look easy. Terrific stuff so far from Yap. Yeah. So this simple nine ball and the match continues in favour of Lucius Yap and I do believe we have a certain Mr Michael Bridge bringing us some news in from the floor, he stole my job. Yeah, well, it's not my fault you keep jumping into the commentary, is it, Carl? So, yeah, that's why I am stepping in. But I'll tell you something, Carl, and you'll notice this earlier, how tense it is down here now when the matches are so tight, so tough, the best players. And Judd Trump behind me currently 4-2 up against Jason Theron. Nils Fine, I've heard, just won. Joshua Filler 5-3 up against Alan Roland Rosado, so he's winning as well. And Mickey Krause four down to Elias Yap. So top players all throughout. Skyler Woodward, 3-0 up against Byron Lofty. But as I say, it's Judge Trump behind me at the moment on table two. And if you want to watch that one, that is on Matrim Paul's YouTube channel. So plenty of top players playing right now. Games galore going on. It is tense on the floor. Cheers, Michael. You're looking good out there, buddy. Thanks for that update. Back to the action, Mickey Krause. Well, buddy, we've all been there. It's a pool player's worst nightmare. You're playing in such a big match, and, and you just can't get Back a visit. Five. You can't get well, an easy up break. Four, a lot of air so far for Mickey. As you said, though, winners break. Anything can happen. This match is far from over, race to 11, but uh, thus far it's been all yap. Break's gone well for him, too. What's that six ball? Flies into the corner, as does the pink four. Looks like a glimmer of hope for Mickey. The brown has gotten in front of the yellow, so he'll have to push out or play safe straight away, Carl. Yeah, it's never nice watching one player steamroll another. So let's just hope Mickey Krause can get a couple of racks on the board and make this match interesting. Now, Yuki Oi is still in the event. He's currently playing on table number seven. Such a colourful character. Your option, Mickey. He's playing Wu Kun Lin and Nuki's leading two racks to zero. It looks like Mickey Good returns clock. it. Thank you. Please back start. to Yap and Based on how he's queuing, he's Thank eyeing you. a kick safety of sorts, Carl. Yeah, for people watching at home, what he's doing there with his cues, he's trying to visualize the shot coming off that top rail. 
and he wants to hit this full. He wants to stick the cue ball up at that kind of area where the one is. And he, he doesn't mind if the one goes in the side, but just above, and then it'll float down on the bottom rail, but he's hit it all wrong. And that's why he's left Mickey his first real opportunity in this match. And let's see what he can do with that opportunity. 4-0 down, really hasn't had an offensive shot yet. Great opportunity for him to get things going. Navigations from the one to the two is a little bit tricky. He might come around three rails where he just rested his cue beyond the four and seven and to perhaps play the two in the top right. Let's see. Didn't mean to strike the seven, but he's okay. Although the two on the side is steep. Perhaps we take the bank on Carl and just zip it back slightly. Yeah, it's definitely options. These side pockets on these diamond tables for this year's event. We've seen a few missed. If you just catch any of the points. So that point to the right. Great angle there where we can see just how tight that side is Carl was talking about. And as you said, awfully small side pockets here, four and a quarter inch pockets. This year's open. Yeah, when you're losing 4-0, it looks even smaller. <laughs> right. May have find himself behind the red three here. The cue ball that is. Let's see. Beautifully done. Yeah, that was exquisite safety shot from Yap. He really has got it all, this kid. And it's not going too well for Mickey Krause's World Cup of Pool partner, Barham Lotvi. He's playing Skyler Woodward. Skyler has won the opening five racks. It's five racks to zero over there on table eight. When it looks like Yap will wow. be joining Skyler with the opening no five hunting. racks in relatively short order. Yeah, it really was that beautiful safety shot from Yap what's carved out this fifth rack. Now, obviously, I don't think the seven ball passes the nine, but where the nine ball is sat, that doesn't matter. Just make sure you come high enough for this five ball, which he has done. And he's just going to set himself up for a combination. It's come perhaps a hair flat on the five, so we'll have to let his stroke out a little bit. But as you said, shouldn't be any real problem here. Great young Singaporean, Alyushis Yap. What a start it's been for him. Extension, please. Thank you. Early declare of the extension, Carl, I suppose, not to have any beeping enter the equation. Bravo. Lucia Schaap is going to be feeling good in this match. He's knocked out defending champ Joshua Phillip in the previous match. And look at this, snooker player Judd Trump has played his hey. first jump shot and he's made it. Who says snooker players can't jump? Jason Shaw hovering by us here in the booth. Delighted to see Trump go upstairs, right, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he's loving it. Sure you're going to see that jump shot fly all over social media by our man Jake Asby. It's probably already out there. 
Is jumping legal in snooker? I know it doesn't really come up, but it's illegal, right, Carl? No, it's not allowed. You can't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, a little more dignified over on that side of the pond, you know. Rack six. Delicious Yap is breaking. Well, what a start it's been. See if Yap can keep it going. 5-0 lead. That's it. It would be kind of funny if they did a tournament where they all just rocked up with a jump cue. Yeah. <laughs> just see what would happen. <laughs> So even though Yap is leading five racks to zero, he's not had much love off the break shot. Playing a safety of sorts. See which kind of navigations he chooses. We do say this a lot in the, the Q sport world, but there's just something about left-handed players where they, they have a tendency to make the game look easy. If you look at the likes of Yap, Wu Cha Ching, Jason Shaw, Joshua Filler, Jeffrey DeLuna, Go back to the likes of Rodney Morris, Steve Miserak. Really is true, there's something about a southpaw. It's just so aesthetically pleasing on the eye. And he's done nicely with this one as well. Drifts just beyond the side for an awkwardly off, awkward uh, predicament for Kraus. No real root kicking wise that, that I see naturally, Carl. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, Nick, is that the same in the poker world? Is it better if you hold the cards with your left hand? Or your <laughs> Nothing right hand? like a lefty <laughs> putting the chips in, Carl, to uh... <laughs> You know when you're playing poker, Nick, do you do all that stuff with the uh, the chips, like all these little tricks? I don't get excessively fancy, but I have a few go-tos. I do have the chip bounce Station, on the stack please. that I that I do religiously. You. Can you teach me some moves? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're a good guy. <laughs> The difference between poker and, and pool is if you get nervous in poker, all you have to do is just still sort of push the chips forward. Get a little nervous in pool, you have to keep that back arm steady. One, two around, beautiful Good. shot there from Kraus. Let's see if he gets rewarded. He has, Carl. So. Yeah, he deserves it. That was probably the kick shot of the tournament so far. He's weighing it right now if he can jump over this three or not. Awfully precarious. This is the kind of shot where you could fly off the table if you're not careful after hitting the one jumping. Looks like he's reevaluating now. Extension, please. Thank you. Kicking to the bottom rail. Perhaps he's trying to come one, two to the side rail. Maybe make the one with position, although we're asking a lot. He has gone one, two, but he hit it just thick. Kraus will get back to the table, albeit again without a clean look. See if he can manufacture something for himself, gain a little initiative back. It's been an uphill climb so far. Nicely played. Safety battle of sorts here to start the sixth rack. Let's have a little score update. Now, Yuki is just about to go 4 0 up over Wu Kun Lin. Foul. No cushion after contact. Skyler Woodward. Well, he's still on five. Barron's won his first rack. Defending US Open champion. He's going along nicely. He leads all on roll on Rosado. Seven racks to three. A bit uncharacteristic from Yap there. Tried to play a kick safety of sorts and just struck the seven with the one, thus not contacting a rail. 
after hitting the one. And first real look at Kraus to get going offensively here, Carl. Yeah, make no mistake about it, Mickey Kraus can play the game of pool. And a serious desire to become a champion in the game of pool. But he's got a little battle on his hand now, not just on the table, but in the mind. You can often find yourself three, four, five, zero down in pool. And he's got to just try and make something happen. He would snap your right arm off to be Hill Hill in this match, so even that is a good target to look at. Indeed. Nice stroke there. Good for him to get a little rhythm going. We've touched on all week. Any of these guys with the break can string multiple racks together. Match is far from over. It looks like it'll be 5-1 momentarily. It's nice to see Mickey Krause, he's off the board in this match. He wins his first rack, he trails Yap five racks to one. Welcome back, guys and girls. It's the 2021 US Open. It is Judgment Day. He trails in the match. Now you can Five see one. Mickey Krause. He's playing Lucius Yap. If you've been watching, well, you know it's 5-1 to Yap. 
And the first break for Kraus has scratched in the top left, and the cue ball's going near the top left again, but it's not going to go in. And he's going to have... Well, he's got a shot at this too. There's a bit of distance on it, but it is an opportunity. Something of a tester, Carl. Do you like kind of just stopping right there and accepting the work on the five? Yeah, personally, I do. I mean, if you're the likes of Jeffrey DeLuna and you can get zipping that cue ball back at ease, then maybe he would have a different outlook. But for, for where I'm at, it'd be a little stop shot. Not his best, Carl. No, that's a little bit worrying whenever you see a player miss it by that much. It is often a sign of despair. Yep. It's got a similar kind of shot. Fair enough, there's an angle, but it's in the same sort of spot the two was, into the same pocket. And it goes in the heart of the pocket. Needs the cue ball to slow down. And it hasn't. It does not oblige, so Yap will have to get creative here. Safety in some capacity in all likelihood. Maybe he could jack up and try to bank it, but I think this is asking too much. Looks like he's just thinning it to try to come behind the nine and six with the cue ball. Looks from our vantage point, at least, that he's left a shot for Mickey in the top right. If he has, let's see if he can make amends for that missed two ball. Yeah, Mickey's just stepped to the left. Usually that means they're looking at the potting angle. Unlike, yep, that. Usually he's got the pace down to a tee. That wasn't as easy as the first ball he missed in this rack, but it was a chance and he knows that. And them are the type of shots they've just got to go, I'm afraid, if you're trying to get a fight back. Indeed. The road to winning US Opens involves putting those down. And with the eyes closed, we, we can see the frustration on the young Danish Mickey Kraus. And yeah, delighted to see that five ball hang up and he's on his way. Extending the lead here to six to one. He elects to play the seven in the corner or just settles for the combination. Seems the former. Yeah, it's been a good performance from Yap. Also putting in a good performance. He's the current title holder, Joshua Filler. It was Yap that put Filler over to the left side of the draw. If you're not familiar with how this double elimination format works, it's pretty easy. I'll give you a quick explanation. After he rolls this nine ball in, we started out with 256 pool players from all over the world. And they're all fighting it out for 16 places. After today, we will know the 16 names that will make up our last 16 single elimination. Today's judgment day, and it's a big day. Lucia Shout, 25 years of age, world junior champion in 2014. And there you can see his list of players, the famous Joshua Filler. Was the last man he beat. Mickey Krause, 20, played in this year's World Cup of Pool with the man at the bottom of that list of players he's beat, Lockby. That was his partner. So that was a tough match, and he beat Billy Thorpe 11-10. He dodged a bit of a bullet there. Billy Thorpe missed a pretty easy ball to beat Mickey Krause. And Billy Thorpe 
Unfortunately for USA fans, he's out of this year's Open. Racky, Moisha Siap to break. He leads in the match. Jason Theron has took the lead over on table two for the first time. He's playing Judd Trump. Judd is at the table, though. So that could be quite interesting. That's a little bit of a better break. Cue ball is a lot more controlled. And, well, would you just look at this? Yeah, terrific break. Purple five and the seven have nestled together. I believe the five goes in the pocket with which he'll shoot the one. If it doesn't, perhaps he could follow around with some top right and split him up, Carl? Yep. That's what he's looking at, folks. Just missed brushing the seven. A little bit of work cut out for him here. Play for the bank. Looking at it now. A little table two action out there. It looks you. like Trump is cleaning things up to slide into a 6-5 lead, I believe. That's a tight one out there, Carl. Yeah, there you see, it's actually to tie the match up. It's 6-6. Six, six. We said this, folks. We said as the week goes on, and it's all the big players left in this year's tournament. That took a little bit of a wobble, but it's gone. Would have loved the cue ball to have been a little bit further off the rail. Yeah, it was a nice stroke. The referee will keep a keen eye on this one. Naturally, he has to strike the purple before the brown. And I do believe he'll be taking on this bank cross corner. Bravo. He's got it all, this young man. He really does. He's got a serious game about him. Yeah, he's fantastic. like a 7-1 lead down here on the boardwalk. The United States Open. Carl, what a roaring start for Yap this has been. Yeah, it is indeed. And talking of US Opens, Nick, you've played in a few yourself, haven't you? Tell us some stories about your time in the Open. Well, I was, yeah, maybe I was 14, 15, and 16. I think I played in three or four. Might have clawed my way to 13th or so one year. Did a lot of gambling in the pool rooms. You know, I was a young little maniac. What was, uh, now you're an old maniac, right? Right. But, um, what was your sort of best victory? Anyone we, we might know, I anyone beat famous? Mo I beat Moro one year, remember him? Ismael Paez, Mexican legend, the a little older Dean. now. The What's Yeah, I beat him 11-10, right? I remember. I beat Santos one year. Santos Sambajon, yeah. So you got some game about you? Know, yeah. we, we, uh, occasionally we can get something going, but it's all past me, Carl. I went to the pool room last night, did a little, oof. Nick, was, oh you're telling gosh. Fibs there. I've tired, seen you. Buddy. No, no, I've seen you walking through reception two days ago. You had a pool cue you're on right. your shoulder. You saw me on my way to start beating balls <laughs> into the rail and uh, paying off a few. But anyway, back, back to the matters at hand. He's certainly playing that one down. So if you if you ever see Nick in a pool room, well, don't let him hustle you. That's for sure. <laughs> he in the match. No, I love this split screen shot. By the way, we've been going to. We have the yap stroke on the left, the rack on the right. Watch that three ball.
Yeah, I think regardless of what goes on the break, Yap's face won't tell us anything. He always looks the same, doesn't he? He's not very animated. Mickey Krause's buddy, Baron Lotfi, he was 5-0 down to Skylar Woodward. He's managed to win three racks. That match is currently 6-3. Joshua Fuller, he's got himself on nine. That's 9-4. Nine Nayuki is going along well. Conrad from Poland. He's beating Tole on hand, 4-1. Omar al Shaheen. he's won the first rack against Chang Jun Lin. He lost early on in this event, so... He's been putting a few matches together undercover. I suppose one benefit of getting sent to the loser side earlier is you get to play a lot of matches if you stay around and, and get in stroke and so on. Looks like he's eyeing up the 4-8 combination. Didn't quite get the angle to come and, and play the four in the corner with which he's standing there. A little bit tricky. Extension, please. Thank you. This is a case of just picking your point. That's what he's looking at now. He's trying to visualise where that four ball's going. Then you can kind of forget about the eight ball. That should take care of itself. And there you go. It's almost easy to forget how well a player is playing at times when they just kind of make it look so simple. Yaps really putting on a clinic right now. Precision and finesse. And, uh, it's just been beautiful to watch. Overcooked this one slightly, though, so I'll have to put a nice committed stroke on this and hold it up. Doesn't look too worried. Yeah, that hit far too far up the rail. And that's what's caused the miss. There's a real wrinkle there, and at this level, these matches, the tides can turn rapidly. Kraus delighted to get a chance to stop the bleeding and perhaps mount a charge of his own. Has to handle these. He has that slight pause in the backswing, Carl. I've noticed you have that hitch a little when you get going as well, right? Yeah, I think most of, um, certainly the English players, we pause at the back. Some Europeans do, some don't. It kind of comes from snooker. All the snooker players, they have quite a long pause at the back before delivery. Why is that, would you say? Oof, that's a good question. I think it's just you're in the rhythm, you're coming back, and it's almost like you're ready to shoot. Yeah. I feel like you get better timing of the shot rather than just coming back and forward and then delivering the cue. Kind of cock the arm almost. Well, all right. 7-2, Yap. Kraus set to break.
the wonderful arena here in Atlantic City. Brought to you by Matchroom Pool. This is part of the Matchroom Pool series. In the match, seven two. And they ain't holding back next May in the UK. We're going to see the UK Open. They're really pushing the sport of pool. Love that, Carl. This matchroom pool is all class. I mean, the arena is even nicer in person than it looks on the screen. What isn't nice for Mickey is that brown seven ball right in the way of the three. He's hoping to get something going, but he'll have to push out in some capacity. Not an easy push, by the way. Yeah, that's true. They see Judd Trump is at the table. He's been involved in a battle there. This nine ball to tie the match up again. Nervy match over there. Losers bracket action. Well done, Trump. Yeah, that's a beautiful camera angle. That's the jib. That's the jib camera. Let's you take a good look up from high. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing, Carl. Huge crane that's that's sort of careening over the table. Gentlemen's controlling it. What do you like here? Push to a jump he's looking at, maybe? Push out. Yeah, it's, it's really horrible. It's, it's obviously he's pushed to a position where you can see some form of a three ball. Doesn't look anything at first glance, real obvious, so. Can you not just slice this in the side? Is that asking too much and, and just sort of run into the nine and see what happens? I think at first glance, I would suggest it's probably a little too thin for that, but oh. obviously we're just kind of guessing from where we're set. Yep, certainly agrees as he's given it back to Mickey. And let's see what he has in mind. He pushed out to this spot, probably eyeing some sort of a shot in the case of Yap relinquishing. Yeah, he might not have um, any other option other than to go all out attack. That makes it look a little easier from that camera angle. So he wasn't far off. The shot was definitely on the nine. He's going close to the side. But he's got second best. He's put a full ball hook back on his opponent. Joshua yeah. Fillers on the hill. It's 10 5. Baron Lotvi from Denmark. He's making a good fight back. He was five racks to nil down. It's now 6 4 against Skylar Woodward. Extension, please. Thank you. Yeah, this is tricky because although he's brought his jump cue, that is because of the shot clock, so he doesn't have to walk back over and get it, but jumping at that doesn't seem to offer anything real obvious. Is he playing a jump bank, Nick? He might be. Interesting in regards to bringing the cue just in case. Looks like he is going high. He might be playing a jump bank. The jump cut looks so dicey, but perhaps find out momentarily. Oh, he is playing the jump bank, Carl, and he's gone just high. Nice call. Good effort. And again, digressions, but this match is far from over. Yeah, you're right there, buddy, because it's all been yap. But if he can just win this rack, he'll be breaking in the next. If he can put a little two-pack together. Oh, this is not his finest moment. If he's got a shot on that, he's been so fortunate. That he has, it's awfully close. Not his finest moment indeed. And body language-wise, it looks like he has just gotten away with this. He'll shake it off and get back to business. In some ways, when something like that happens, it can often settle you down because you're that angry with yourself. It makes you zone in a little bit more. <laughs> I like that. Suppose you've had a talking to yourself a time or two over the years. Let's get down to business. Got a little luck, got away with it, and, and now let's get serious. Yeah, I've been through all the motions. Spinning these two rails, has got to watch the top corner pocket. That was fine, got into it enough. And that's perfect. Yeah, beautifully done there. Okay. 
So this simple nine ball up the rail. All comebacks have to start somewhere. Is this the moment it starts for Mickey Krause? This is South Africa's Jason Theron, the EC 77 versus Trump. It's been a close match all the way through. lead back to centre court that's a beautiful view fans have come good this week we start at 10 a.m. in America and all the high tables and chairs have been full well at 10 a.m. really so fair play to the crowd for getting involved and I think this arena will change come the final 16 tomorrow. It will be a different look. The matchroom crew will be doing Rack a few left. tweaks and changes. Mickey to break. Deloitte's Seattle leads 7-3. Could do with a little two-pack now. Keep yeah, your opponent sure sat in the chair. A three-pack would be wonderful. Needs a shot on the two. Not ideal. Six seven also a little tricky, but it is a look. Razor thin one into the side if he chooses. I don't know if the three blocks the bank. He missed a two ball in the side that was very similar earlier. Don't know if that'll be on his mind or not. The mind can play tricks on us out there, Carl. Yeah, the wing ball was nowhere near the pocket then and also I Ken's as well. had a little bit of a nightmare. Ken's missed a nine ball there. That's the equivalent to missing the nine. <laughs> yeah. Let's take the bank on and he's gone just long. Yep, will return. Yeah, I think the three balls in the way, so he had to aim a little wider and hit it harder to square that ball up. 6-7 Karam could be in Yap's future. Well, he's weighing his options now. Play for the carom, Carl, or, or maybe get an angle on the five to, to drift into the balls? Yeah, the carom's not bad, is it? Looks kind of set. Well, he does have a, an angle here, so if he wants, he can run into him. Now, he will be playing a a cannon a certain way here although he's come over and now he's looking at your option Nick extension please thank you so he's give both options a look now he's looking at the, the split he wants to try and hit both balls together that will push the six over to the pocket where the eight is sitting. Speed is key as well. Doesn't want to be too erratic. There you see oh. absolute perfection. Good call, Carl, in regards to the split. Tell you what, Siloitius Yap goes about his business in an awfully smooth fashion. Fully agree, Nick. He's a very, very serious player, and he's looking good in this match. If he does go on to take the win, well, he's going to be the first man in the last 16 because the remaining 
seven matches of winners qualification they're getting underway shortly Jason Shaw who's playing Dennis Grave they're playing on table two after the Trump the run match so it's going to go from bad to worse this nine ball for eight three but it's not going bad for Mickey Krause's buddy Baron Lockfield has tied that match up against USA's Skylar Woodward it is now six six and it was five zero if I recall right it was indeed so that is a good fight back Here's Mr. Trump. This is a great match on the outer table. Yeah, it really is. And listen, Judd Trump's won big, big snooker tournaments in front of big crowds. Well, that doesn't matter. You still feel that little buzz when you're in this little battle. And that's approaching the real detailed end of this match. Absolutely, and end of the day, if he gets to the final 16, single elimination, anything can happen. 100%. Yeah, that's a job well done there, so as long as he lands straight or high. Cue ball needs to slow down. Just overrun that a little bit, but he can play the cue ball off two rails, maybe even one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say he might play one. That's a job well done. Beautiful position there. Rack 12. Such a confident, authoritative Leading kind of player when he gets going. You can really see what it takes to dominate the ranks of snooker. Watch that three ball. Yeah, there's a nice little crowd congregating around table two because whenever a pool match is heading towards that hill hill everyone kind of has a little walk over don't they? a little nosy <laughs> absolutely that's the real deal as well for uh theron to be in there with trump you know the world is somewhat watching this world at least and, and the literal crowd so that one's truly heating up yeah and it's so different when you were going to play like say Judd Trump on the TV table as opposed to on the outer ring definitely favored Jason Theron 100% even though he's in a tight battle it feels like there's a little less heat on the match okay so seven balls gonna cause him a little bit of awkward queuing. Yeah, again, being a southpaw, this is in a much more awkward angle than it would be for a right-handed player. Signified the displeasure with that little tap on the rail with the chalk. I think he wanted to just nick the seven to stay there, Stanchion, but please. extension call. We really get a good look at how awkward that angle is from the overhead. Expertly handled there. It's a little bit tricky though. Perhaps he comes one two across between the eight six on the left side of the side pocket and out for the purple five. Or maybe there's one rail navigations to be had. Let's see? Use the whole pocket there. Yeah, he's used the whole pocket and he's hit the green absolutely full in the face. Any other contact on the six, and this could have been a lot more difficult. Judd Trump in quick time has got this eight ball into the top pocket. He's not been in the lead in a few racks. This simple nine, and he's about to take a one rack lead that he is Carl I mean it was a blink of an eye I would imagine that was a break and run 
whatever the case may be, 9-8 Trump, as you said. Beautiful little shot there from Yap on the five. Nice recovery. Just cinches the cue ball there. With a little bit of kill speed to hold for the eight in this corner. He has been an impressive performance so far, it must be said. No, he's a delight to watch, and he really doesn't overcomplicate the matters out there. Nice, simple, clean execution. Yes, it is indeed, and there it is. Lucius Yap. He's just two racks away from being the first map into the last 16. Welcome back, folks. This is what we call Judgment Day. And this means after today, we will have gone from 256 pool players from all over the globe. And we will have 16 players left. The event will turn into a single elimination race to 11. And from the last 16, if you lose, you are out. This looks a tidy break off from Yap. Purposely cutting the break and teeing that one ball up. Yeah, he's had that one ball in that top corner pocket a few times. So indeed, like you said, Carl, potting balls, make playing position on the one. Nice stuff. Defending champion Joshua Filler 
he's made it through. He's a winner, 11-6. And let's see what he's had to say. Josh, after last night, a big relief. Yeah, I mean, yesterday I couldn't do it much because my uh, opponent ran seven games on me. So I was actually just a spectator in that match. But uh, yeah, actually, you just need to uh, head up your, um, just keep your chin up. Um, then today I played pretty good, but my, my opponent was also, I think it was 10-4 up, and then he ran two amazing games on me. So I was like, okay, if you get a breakdown, it's going to be tough. But then luckily he made a mistake and I could run Station, off. Please. How would you assess that performance? Thank you. Uh, that performance, I, I think it was good, but I, 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 my break isn't that good working. I, I think uh, my best one was like four games, so it's not that much. Um, I think that that's n really need to be improved. Mm. Do you prefer the table one or did you prefer being on the outside table today? I prefer table one, of course. Uh, it's a lot warmer in ta on table one. The outside tables are pretty cold. Um, but yeah, you need to get used to it and try your best there. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Josh. We'll see you Thank later. You. Thank you. Yes, we will see Joshua later. He's waiting for the winner of the Skylar Woodward Barham Lotfi match. Skylar leads 7 6. Doesn't get any easier on Judgment Day. Oh, that's a good one out there. And of course, he was alluding to being a spectator because his opponent ran seven racks on him, and that opponent was young Alyushis Yap, who we've had the pleasure of watching here today. So, this man is the real deal. Looks like he has just enough angle to follow down for the seven. I'm sure, we'll be zeroing in on the Trump match as well, which is awfully tight over there. This looks pretty good. If he finds any form of angle, it'd be okay. But usually you always land straight, <laughs> as he did. <laughs> as you said, Carl. Might load this up with a lot of right hand spin, draw back to the rail and out. This could be a pretty shot here. He's able to just kind of cheat the pocket and go center ball. So steady, yeah. So this nine ball in Yap is on the hill and you would think Mickey Krause would lose this match, but he will still be in the tournament, of course. This is winner's qualification. The character Nayuki Oi. He's got this eight and nine. Well, that took a little bit of a wobble. He's leading 8-3, so this is for 9-3. He's going along nicely. Yeah, there he is. You could see a little sigh of relief after that wobble. She alluded to, but 9-3 it is. Yeah, and that's loser's round six match. Start the day. The players in the loser section will need to win three matches to advance, so that's not the end of the world. Mickey Krause doesn't look best pleased, but you just got to forget about this match, buddy. You are still in the tournament. Even if you lose, you'll just go over to the loser section where you will get one more bite of the cherry. So that's the good thing about being in the winner's qualification. You get two chances. Yeah, table two is a tight affair. That match Rack is 14. tied Yap to break. at 9-9. A lot of people lurking over that table, sweating the action. We're going to see lots of close matches today, mark my words. We came up dry here, Carl, for first time in the match I believe perhaps a second yeah Ken's had a another missed easy nine ball there in refereeing terms we haven't really seen any controversy in regards to the soft break this week no I think the players the wing ball is wired and 
most of the players are good enough to just keep parking the cue ball. There's only really Yap who's been quite Oh, break. lovely here from Kraus. Beautiful little kick safety and throws it on the five. So that was well done there. Please. And if Thank Yap you. can't get to that side rail above the eight, which it looks like he can't, it's a very odd little kick shot here. He's trying to navigate. All right. Found the little oh, small did. gap. Mickey Kraus. He's got ball in hand. There you see. Jacks up and tries to square the cue ball off straight. Judd Trump is at the table. I know obviously this is not the, the table we are concentrating on, but it's just to our left where we're sat, so we can glance over. Yeah, the crowds have really converged over there. Many of the spectators are standing in the middle to sweat both. All eyes on the Trump match. Krause has fallen a bit short of the mark here. It's a shame, Mickey Krause. It's just been one of their matches. He's been froze out of this match. But he can regroup because he's still in the event. Judd Trump is the first man on the hill on table number two. He's leading 10-9. Good for the event if Trump wins. No disrespect to Theron, but of course it's a, it's a good little story brewing up. Absolutely, and he's just been all, all class and, and style this week. Amazing to see him out here doing his thing. Snooker icon. Down here in AC, playing some nine ball with the boys. Yaps overcooked the mark slightly. Have to do a little work here. And he was looking at coming just above the eight and accepting some stuff on the six, but let's see. Takes his medicine, couldn't really get close to his work on the six, so now he's got to pop this, and he's going to try and play a cannon onto the brown seven. This goes wrong more often than it goes right. Yeah, position is far from promised on the seven. After running into it, let's see, nice angle there. As we all know, sometimes closing somebody out can be oddly elusive. Although this bank looks like it's sitting pretty nicely, not to say it's easy. Yeah, he's got to play this at pace because the natural line of the bank shot here is going to go about a foot too high. Yeah, good Carl. Good call, Carl. Note the speed. She struck the banquet to try to shorten it out, as Carl said, and fortuitously the seven and the eight have tied up. So he'll have another look at the table. Yeah, when you're ten three down, it was always going to go there. Judd Trump <laughs> was at the table. I don't know if he's missed the ball or played some form of poor safe or something, but right, Theron has returned. Carl standing, by the way, guys, eagerly peering over to that table, too, as is pretty much everyone else in the arena. Yeah, because Theron is at the table, isn't he? And he's, he's running the balls out, so looks like Judd Trump is about to enter uncharted territory and get his first Hill Hill match in a pool tournament. Hill Hill, deep in the US Open, Judd Trump doesn't get much better. 
No, he's breaking a few little uh, a shot from Jan. things today. He's played his first jump shot and made the ball. Back over onto the main table. Yap, it's been a good performance. Things have gone all his way. He just needs these two balls. Then he will be the first player into the single KO round of 16. Oh, indeed he will, Carl. What an absolute delight it was to watch him go about his business. Aloysius Yap in the Sweet 16. Beautiful performance there from Yap. Mickey Krause, you will be back. You've got one more game, buddy. But this was all Yap. First man into the last 16. It is 10-10 over there, is that right? 